These brides took their wedding a little too seriously. Do you know a bride that was this way? I like to think that I would be a chill bride, but uh, we'll see what happens, if it happens. She slapped me during... <laughs> Well then. She slapped me during the reception. Her dress had this massive organza skirt. It was beautiful, but utterly impractically designed. It took at least three of us to hold up her skirt so she could use the restroom. On the second trip to the restroom, with all of us holding this dress up while she hovered over the toilet, she ordered me to wipe her. What kind of story is this? She ordered me to wipe her. I declined. So she slapped me. The skirt was dropped by all parties while I shouted obscenities at her. She screamed that if I didn't do this for her, this friendship was over. She tried to apologize years later and seemed surprised when I was not interested in rekindling our friendship. <laughs> yeah. Would you do it? Honestly, <laughs> I feel like I would. I don't know. I love my friends. <laughs> if they need me, I would be a helping hand. <laughs> the bride stormed out of her parents' house. Wedding was on her parents' farm in her underwear, screaming about how the groom had ruined her life. She hated him, hated her dress, hated her hair, hated the whole wedding and how she was in love with Jeff. Yes. <gasps> the groom's best man and cousin. The wedding party just stood back and watched the whole thing went down. After a few minutes, I took a pizza box, rounded up my boyfriend and his sister, and we decided it was probably a good time to head out. We drove back to the hotel and stuffed our face with pizza. I would have been right there with you. Honestly, that sounds like a better time anyway. I don't think she took her wedding seriously enough. <laughs> she didn't take her marriage seriously enough because she's cheating. Basically, she's in love with another man. The bridesmaid's dress she picked out for me was $2,400. I couldn't afford it and gently told her so. I found a similar dress with fabric that was the same color, so I asked her if it was okay if I wore that instead. She cussed me out, told me I was ruining her wedding, that her vision required me to wear that dress. She asked if I couldn't just open a credit card to charge the dress on. When I told her no, she cut off all contact with me, claiming that if I was a true friend, I would have made the finances work. She never spoke to me again. I will be damned the day someone tells me I have to spend $2,400 on a dress. I won't even spend that on my own dress, probably. I will probably rent a dress on my wedding day or buy a used one. You wear it once. I don't get you wear it once. <laughs> the bride wanted her bridesmaids, of which there were nearly a dozen, to not only plan a shower and bachelorette, but also plan the wedding. Seriously. Each person was given a task like narrow down and present top three photographers. Others were tasked with arranging the flowers, calling DJs, and so on. I was on the verge of tears about how stressed I was planning a wedding that wasn't even mine. None of my florists were acceptable. We live in a suburban area. There aren't too many to pick from. Needless to say, the majority of us are no longer friends with this bridezilla. I just always figured the bride would want to plan her wedding. Isn't that kind of part of it? You get to go through that process and pick what you want, look into options. Like I love that stuff, like planning for trips. And My sister-in-law was a bridezilla. She wanted both a bachelorette party and a bridesmaids weekend. Isn't that the same thing? At a spa with multiple activities, chocolate making, fancy champagne bar, and dinner, for which we were expected to foot the entire bill. I was a poor graduate student at the time and couldn't afford to attend. Ended up getting fired as a bridesmaid a week before the wedding. <sighs> oh, that would piss me off so much that you put in all that money, time and effort and whatever up until a week before and then you get fired from that position. I don't think so. I would be at that altar one way or another. See you at the altar. The bride wanted an unconventional wedding, as in a three day long campground potluck wedding for which the whole family was expected to fly cross country from New York to California. We had to bring our own tents, sleeping bags, and a hot homemade dish that you'd have to haul across 3,000 miles. We respectfully declined to attend. Another happened at a wedding I was blissfully not invited to, but my boyfriend was. The bride forced the groomsmen to buy 4,000 Dolly Armani suits, but couldn't afford a traditional reception. Everyone who was immediate family got kicked out right after the ceremony. It's incredibly tacky to be so inconsiderate to your guests. I don't even know where to start with this one. I was kind of vibing with this campground potluck wedding. I 
wouldn't go for a potluck and a campground on my wedding day. Oh, <gasps> that'd be a fun bachelorette. Camping. Six years ago, my childhood friend got married. These were her requests. <clears throat> Refused to approve any shoe I picked after claiming I could pick any shoe I wanted. Disinvited my parents after sending invitations. Required we buy expensive makeup to cover up our visible tattoos. No updos, I have long hair, this does not ever work out well, ever. No pedicures or full sets of acrylic nails. Demanded $3,000 in cash gifts for her honeymoon to Walt Disney World. She was offended when she realized no one was going to pay for that. I ended up pulling out of the wedding and ended the friendship. Their marriage lasted two years. Yeah, that's a hard no for me. Oh, $3,000? I must be going to Disney World with you if I'm paying that amount of money. In her religion or culture or family, I don't really know. Turtles were a symbol of good luck, and mere weeks before the wedding, she came up with the idea to have turtles at the reception. Mom, I love turtles. How, you ask? She wanted live turtles walking around the reception hall with lit Candles glued to their backs. Lit flaming candles. She saw no issues with this plan. We tried to explain that the turtles could get crushed or stepped on and that it was cruel to glue candles to their backs and most importantly that a lit candle at ground level could start a fire. She threw a fit of epic proportions. We finally came to solution of adding turtle themed things to the table decorations. Because that was not good enough for our bridezilla, we teamed up with some local reptile wranglers to line the walls with giant aquariums that had live turtles swimming in them. We had to have a staff for the turtles and extra insurance for the hall, but we pulled it off for the turtle bride. Oh, oh, <laughs> not the turtles. You leave the turtles alone. Not a chance, lady. I am not being a witness to that crime, let me tell you. My sister got married last year. First, she got married on Halloween for no reason other than she got a discount on the venue. So even though it's my favorite holiday, our kids wanted to trick or treat, we all had to haul ourselves to her wedding, which was more than two hours away. I am one of four sisters. She initially asked all of us to be bridesmaids, but ended up with one bridesmaid because only one of us could afford it. She wanted us to buy $4,000 dresses with custom made jackets and wanted us to throw her a bachelorette in Las Vegas. Like by the end of all that, the dress, the jackets, the bachelorette party, they might as well be paying for your wedding. That is so much money. Oh my back. My back and my neck are broke. One of my oldest friends turned out to be kind of a crazy bride. They often do. The bridal party was 20 people, 10 bridesmaids, 10 groomsmen. Whew, that is a lot. We were basically the unpaid wedding staff. We set up and completely decorated the venue for the 200 guest wedding. The bride and her mother didn't want to pay the venue staff who would normally do this. Who did they spend the budget on instead? No, what did they spend the budget on instead? Probably all the decorations that you had to put up and tear down. I am not working at a wedding. I will help, I will be a helping hand, but I plan on being way too drunk to be working at your wedding. You can find me on the dance floor. All right. These were some crazy brides, as they call them, bridezillas. I'm out of here, you guys. Stay classy out there and stay sassy. I will see you tomorrow. I did not know that that story is where it was going. I was trying to think of reasons why you would possibly be slapped by the bride, and um, that was not one of them that came to mind. Would you do it? That is the valid question. Would you do it? <laughs> like, I don't know. I love my friends. <laughs> if, I would, if they need me. I would be a helping hand. We're broken, it's tragic. We're not all elastic, but maybe there's magic. Believe you could have it. And I know of sadness, the anxious and panic, the 